Hello, boys and girls, pokey people, binary beings, virtual visitors. <clears throat> Excuse my messy hair. I just got done spanking my wife at ping pong. So, you know, um, today I am going to open this. I'm opening this Marpeco V Union pack. That's Crown Zenith, I think five, six packs? Five Crown Zenith packs. Um, <clears throat> I'm opening it just so that I can get the play mat out of it. And these more Pecos, these are 30 doll hairs each at your local Target. It's like $29.99 on their website um, and $39.99 for some reason in stores, but if you tell them, hey, it's $29.99 on your website, they'll be like, oh, okay, let's just count $10, which doesn't make any sense to me, but anyway, it is what it is. <clears throat> okay. Let's do it. I haven't <clears throat> quite gotten the, the lighting down yet. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, okay. Let's open this one. This is the, this is the winner right here. Um, and you can see it comes with the Morpeko, the Union card. The way that you play this in the actual game is you discard all four of them, and once you discard all four, uh, you can play them onto your bench, and it becomes one, uh, one card, basically, like this. Uh, they have high HP, usually pretty powerful cards, but when they die, uh, your opponent gets to take three prize cards. So, they're a bit risky, and it's kind of like end game material so whenever you know the prize cards are down to like two each um and what i mean by that is each person gets six prize prize cards and once you've gotten all six prize cards uh you win basically so it's kind of like the the show where you, they have six pokemon and they battle until all other pokemon are knocked out anyway so let's go ahead and open it up I don't use the Union cards myself on uh, playing the card game. I know the Mewtwo. The Mewtwo is like really powerful. The v Union Mewtwo, because um, he has a healing capability to heal 200 HP. So if you have a card that's attacking him that's doing less than 200 damage, he can just spam 200 HP heal, and I don't know, he's really never die. And then once he's regained all of his health, he can attack you, and he does crazy damage too. Anyway, okay, so this is the reason I'm opening this right now, so that I can use it as a, a mat. Um, it's a nice little Marnie and Morpeko um, mat. So we'll just lay this down here. It would work as like a desk pad too, I guess, for like your mouse and keyboard and stuff. Um, but I have it already for my computer desk, so. Pretty cool mat. Okay, let's open it up. There's each card. There's pop out here. Oh, it comes with a professor's a trainer card. Professor Burnett. And to my not surprise, this is the most valuable card of the four because, you know, you, you, you little, yeah, you know, you little out there's that for some reason want to, uh, anyway, yeah. So it's pretty cool. Um, you get four, four little cards. I mean, we can look at the back of these for any defects. I mean, off-centered, that's pretty typical with US Pokemon. Um, I don't know what this card does. Search your deck for up to two cards and discard them. Then shuffle your deck. Oh, yeah. So you would play this, and you would get two of these cards, and then you would just straight discard them. Um, so this this profess this trainer card is specifically made for like V-Union decks. Okay, that makes sense. And I will sleeve these, um, put them in the top loader after. And then here's the full thing. Uh, this pack just fell straight out. <clears throat> so 
It was actually really funny. There was a guy that played a tournament with nothing but like big cards. So he had like a stack of, of big cards. I heard about it, but I don't know. Yeah, anyway, I don't know how that's possible. I don't know why that wouldn't be regulated because what energy cards are this big? Anyway, but this is super cool. Like these types of cards, like this is really well centered. The corners are cut super well. I wonder like how this would get graded. I feel like this is a 10 because the centering front and back is good. Corners are good. The edges look, I mean, the edges are cut really well too. There's a tiny bit of whitening up at the top here. Kind of hard to see because it's like very little. Anyway, okay. Let's go ahead and open these Crown Zoom packs. See if we get anything good. I really like Crown Zenith. I think the hit rate is really nice. Um, even if that devalues the cards, it's still nice just to, you know, pull something cool. I, I don't think I've pulled any gold cards from Crown Zenith. The only gold card I think I've pulled is from Scarlet Violet, um, the uh, Corazon. <clears throat> so that'd be cool if we got one of those. I think all of Crown Zenith, they use the black code cards, so that doesn't really mean anything. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. I'm gonna miss saying that. This is not gonna be a good card, I can already tell. I mean, on the back, it has pretty bad whitening, the corners aren't cut well, and typically, like they're more expensive cards, they don't do that, so. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get into it. Because they have Oh, okay. Got the reverse metal. It's got some print lines in it. I know it's gonna be really hard for you all to see. Oh yeah, there you go. You can see that print lines in it that devalues these cards, but it's super common just because of the way they are. And Tauros. <clears throat> nice. I think the metal energy is the one that I don't have. I have four or so of them. I think the metal is one that I don't have. The steel, steel energy. Okay, again, black code card. Like I said, I think it's gonna be pretty normal. <clears throat> oh, I didn't do the little one, two, three, four, did I? Who knows? Who knows? I didn't. Um, or I did, and I did it again. So we're starting off with seeing the rare, Zarud, and then Keldio as the reverse spot. So it's Glaring Gallery. I don't know if I have this one yet, but this one is super pretty. Holy cow. That is so beautiful. Centering's not bad. I think it's a little heavy on the right. Top to bottom looks good. Oh, there's like a crease on the back, like right here. Kind of hard to see, but I mean, you can kind of see it there. Right there, there's a little crease. So that's definitely gonna devalue it. <clears throat> That's super cool. What a beautiful card. Okay, so two hits in the reverse spot. Um, we technically got a good uh, a hit in the rare, kind of, because it was hollow. Um, so that was kind of a, a double hit attack. All right, another black coat card, like I said. I, I think they're all like that. One, two, three, four. Ooh, this card's cut pretty well. Um, off center, it's... So, yeah, okay, it's something. <clears throat> Leaf energy. We're getting a little peeker there, or at least I saw it. Okay, trekking shoes. It's something, what's it gonna be? I'm gonna guess it's just a normal V. Oh, I was wrong. Simisir V-Star, very cool. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy at all, but V-Star. <clears throat> These stars are really good in the the game itself. They're an evolution from their normal V counterpart, so you do have to evolve it to use it. But if it dies, it still the opponent only takes two of their prize cards instead of like a V Max or a V Union taking three. Um, v stars, which are more powerful than the V, they both V and V Star take two prize cards. So V stars are uh, really really good cards to have. I declare a thumb war. Okay. Lightning, electric, whatever you want to call it. Rock rough. Purloin, love disc, 
channel. Oh, this is nice. This is one that I don't have. Again, this has been not too shabby. Got the Glaring, Glaring Gallery Luminion. This is such a beautiful card. <clears throat> it reminds me a lot of the um, Triple Beat Magikarp. They kind of have a similar like dark theme to them. And you can see like the little um, Pokemon sticking out. I forget the names of it, Lumion and something, I don't know. Um, but they're sticking out. Oh, I just named this Pokemon. Anyway, this is super cool. The Magikarp is one that I really want to get out of Triple Beat or what's going to be Paldea Evolved, which I've mentioned multiple times in other videos, but I, I want that Magikarp so badly. I'm about to just buy it, um, the Japanese version, because they're not that expensive. Like, I found one on eBay for like 16 bucks, and from what I saw, it was pretty perfect in condition. So anyway, um, they're super cool cards but I'm just not gonna keep buying booster boxes just to get the Magikarp. But yeah, this Luminion reminds me a lot of that, that <clears throat> Magikarp. Let's see if we can get a double hit. Oh, we kind of did, yeah. A V Leafeon. This has been a really good pack. Every pack has had some sort of hit. Like, you know, uh, this was a single hit, the reverse metal. This was kind of a double hit, single hit, and that was kind of a double hit too. All right, last pack. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Got a V Star card. Nice. No energy. Uh, got a little bit of a peek there. Let's see. Oddish. We got Oddish and Gloom. Ponyard. So this is just a common reverse. And then nothing. Okay, so one pack we got nothing, but overall, overall, I'd say very good. Hope you guys enjoyed. <clears throat> I don't think that we got our money back for the the thirty dollars that this box costs. Um, but you got to think about the V Union card, the play mat, uh, and the big card. Those do come into play, but just based off of the packs, I, I don't think we, we did it. But this card is really cool, and this is probably one of my favorite um, glaring galleries from, from Crown Zenith. This card is super cool. It's so beautiful. The northern lights reflecting off of what I think is probably some sort of iced over pond or lake. Beautiful. They did such a good job with these glaring galleries. I, I like them all, but <clears throat> this one is... I mean, just the reflections off of that. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, catch you guys in the next one. Hit the, hit the like button, you know, if you want to. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. Um, maybe a little bit of your time. And comment down below about anything. What's your favorite car? I like cars. What's your favorite car? Mine's a Corvette. So anyway, catch you guys later. Deuces.